started acting like she was going into heat. So we're about to go check and see if she's still showing some signs. And if she is, then we're gonna call our AI tech and have her get ready to come out here later today. That's a sure sign according to what Stephen was saying last night. Usually if she's in heat and he holds his arm out, she'll lick it and then she'll try to mount him. Last night right before we put her up, we um, noticed that she was starting to bellow quite a bit and it seemed like she was a little bit mucusy. And now it kind of, I can't really tell. She doesn't seem that mucusy, but maybe a little swollen. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and, yeah, sure. I think I'm gonna go ahead and call the tech when we get back in and see what she thinks. She really loves you today. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's probably not a good place to be. Fun, fun. <clears throat> yep. Are you getting knocked up? <laughs> <laughs> what you doing, Dila? Okay, so we had breakfast and the morning has been kind of crazy so far just trying to get all this figured out because we have to get her bread within the next well at this point we really only have eight hours probably it is 10 30 and she started showing signs last night but she was actively showing signs earlier this morning around eight o'clock and so we know that we really need to get her bread before eight o'clock tonight, um, preferably as soon as possible for us to have the best chance. So our AI tech is not able to come out until after she gets off work, which is five o'clock. And we just called the vet that's storing our straws and they told us that we had to pick up the straws by noon because the doctor was leaving at noon. So we were kind of freaking out there for a minute thinking there was no way that we were going to be able to pick them up by then because our tech is not able to pick them up before noon and we don't have a shipper tank or a small tank to hold the straws in but we just got it all worked out. Steven is going to meet our tech close to where she works to pick up a small tank to go back to the vet and pick up the straws and bring them back here so that we are ready for her to come here this evening and do it. So that's an update on what's going on. So it was kind of crazy there for a minute. I was worried that it was not going to work out, but everything seems to be still on track for right now. So for those of you that are still just kind of learning about when the optimum time is to breed a heifer, um, it's actually best to do it, especially if it's their first time ever being bred, it's best to do it as early as possible once you know that the heifer is in standing heat. So we know that Bulo is in standing heat because she was mounting Steven this morning. And so we know that we want to get her bred within the next 12 hours in order for us to have the best chance at her conceiving. So that is what we're working towards. We are in a time crunch and this is our first time doing it. So we don't really know exactly what we're doing. <laughs> so there's a learning curve to this whole thing, which obviously is playing a factor too in how things go. Our front 
flower bed video. Now you can kind of see how big how it's doing is. now. Everything's grown a lot. It's looking really good. Look Got this, lots of healthy herbs and this flowers. Is, this is a little and a little we might have tree. Yep. We that's, and they're a baby. And we have dried up of these so we can make some tea. It's chamomile. Do you know what that one is back there? Um, pineapple sage. Yes, that's right. And we smell it. I don't think the camera can smell. How Let me large? smell it though. That boxwood basil has gotten huge. This one has got huge, big. That got big, that got big, that got big, that got big, that got big. We need to cut some flowers. Cut some zinnias. Oh, Dada! There's no way. Somebody just got here. and she's still ready <laughs> she's only got a couple hours left before our tech gets here and does the job <sighs> it is so hot outside today we've been working outside and gardening a lot today but anyways uh, we just heard that the tech is on her way, and so she should be here in probably about 20 minutes. We have some friends coming that want to observe as well, so it's almost time, and I am just praying that this works. You wanna say hi? Hey. <laughs> Handed me this. It's my souvenir. I have to record, but just hold it. That was fast. Yeah, it was. I didn't know what to expect as far as that. That was my first mini, so I was like, Ugh. <laughs> a little lower than what you're <laughs> So, what do you, what do you recommend as far as checking for pregnancy? Like, is there? Well, you can get blood vials. Standard for that. And there's a vein in her tail that you can get blood out of. Yeah. And ship it off. And I think UT actually does that. They only charge you that ten dollars or something. Okay. Or you can get the vet out here, but they'll charge you a vet. <laughs> right, for them to for them to take the blood, yeah. Or for them to preg check her. Okay. So the deed is done. <laughs> the dirty deed. <laughs> the done dirt cheap. <laughs> yeah. Dirt. Oh yeah. Oh, so the deed is done, the day is done, and we're relieved and hungry and hot. Now we just have to check her in, what you say, 29 days and see if she's pregnant. Yay! Yay! We did it! Yay! 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 Yay!
We hope so. I hope so. We hope too. so. If so, then we will have a baby in May. Yeah. But we will just have to see. So thanks for joining us. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And we will see you next time.